Hey everybody, Kiru Paul here. Welcome to the channel. You know, I routinely answer questions for our Patreon members, and this week one of them was asking about apostles and how to obtain an apostle for her marriage certificate issued in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, I get asked about apostles pretty often, so I decided to do a short video on the subject for those folks who are interested. If you've never heard the word apostle before, um, you're not alone. It's one of those words that most Americans only learn when they start to review the requirements to obtain foreign residency or study abroad or basically do things outside the U.S. So what is an apostle? Well, an apostle is a form of authentication that accompanies certified copies of official documents like birth and marriage certificates, so they will be recognized for legal purposes in another country. Now, this is only going to apply to countries who are part of the Hague Apostle Convention of 1961. So in layman's terms, what this is, is an international treaty that created a universal process for document authentication. Well, there are currently 121 countries participating in that treaty. Both the U.S. and Mexico are participants. Canada is not. Uh, I'll talk a little bit of what Canadians need to do a little later in the video. All right, so according to the YouTube analytics, over 75% of our viewers are from the US, so this part is for you. If you're planning on making Mexico your future home, it's recommended that you get an apostle for birth certificates and marriage certificates prior to moving down. Why? You never know what's going to happen, and there may come a time when you need to present these documents in Mexico, and without an apostle, they most likely will not be accepted. One example of when an apostle is necessary involves one of our friends and neighbors in Mexico. He and his wife moved to Mexico from the US. Well, unfortunately, his wife fell ill and was taken to a private hospital in Cancun where she later passed. In order to retrieve her body, our friend was required to show an apostled marriage certificate from the US. Fortunately, he had one in his possession. But if he didn't, you can see how complicated this could have gotten. So how do you get a document apostled or get an apostle for a document, however you want to phrase it? Well, in the case of the U.S., the apostles can be obtained at the state level where the original document was issued. For example, I was born in West Virginia, but married in Florida. Well, I had to go through the West Virginia Secretary of State for uh, the birth certificate apostle and the Florida Department of State for my marriage license apostle. Each state is going to have its own procedures to obtain the apostle. It's normally easy to find those requirements and submission guidelines on their website. Uh, the procedures may vary depending on the type of document you're requesting an apostle for. For example, when I had to get an apostle for uh, our marriage certificate prior to moving to Mexico, I actually had to mail the original to the state capitol along with a request form and payment of $20. They would not accept a copy. It had to be the original. Then they uh, later mailed me the original back along with the apostle. This is what it looks like. It's printed on security paper that's very similar to that used for like car titles in the U.S. Nothing special, just a, well, another piece of paper to stick in the file, really. Now, I just want to point out that some apostles will be handled at the federal level by the U.S. Department of State. Um, an example of that would be a U.S. birth abroad. Now back to my Canadian friends. Oh, and in case you're wondering how many Canadians watch the channel, according to Google Analytics, it's about 11% of our viewers. All right. As I said, Canada is not a member of the Apostle Convention, but don't fear. Canada has its own document authentication procedure that's very similar to the Apostle one in the States, and I'll put a link to that information in the description portion of this video. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you found it informative. Thanks for watching, and until next time, hasta luego.